So, uh, Metal Metal, uh, we're joined now uh, by the great, great Ralph Shippers. Uh, yeah, yeah. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Uh, Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> so, so, we're very, very uh, excited to have you uh, on our show. Um, we had many, many, many uh, big international acts, but uh, talking to the main man of Primal Fear is something that we never thought would happen because we, we never had uh, a connection to your band, and we've been listening to, uh, to your work and your art for years and played so many songs uh, uh, in the show. So, uh, first, it's, uh, it's a great uh, privilege uh, to have you here. That's awesome. Appreciate it. Thank you. What we wanted to, to begin with is actually a, a little bird, a little raven actually, uh, whispered in our uh, ear that uh, you, you have some kind of a connection with Israel. You, you were here in the past. What, 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 what's going on here? Well, actually, when I was still my, do my regular job, my common job, it was, I think it was in the, mid, in the end of the 90s. I was in Tel Aviv and um, was doing my work as a technician. repairing some stuff there there were customers where we had to repair uh, some gear and some stuff and I was in Tel Aviv and uh, one guy from the company just drove me also to Jerusalem and uh, also to the Dead Sea and it was just amazing I really love uh, the desert side and everything it's, it was really interesting for me the first time to go there uh, I mean it was a little bit dangerous so he carried a gun in his car so <laughs> yeah, what, what time was it like what 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 do you as I said I think it was in the late in, in, in the end of the 90s mm-hmm. and uh, yeah so I was there for one week working there so it was, well, was I don't know I was here in the end of the 90s and I don't have a gun in my car <laughs> but uh, he's yeah, yeah, smart but he was, he's smart you know he <laughs> just said that it's, it's better to have a gun to maybe if some idiot is coming up or to protect ourselves or whatever and I thought wow well that's heavy metal <laughs> <laughs> what what kind of technician it comes all the way to, to Israel that you what, what did you need to fix? Actually, I was um, after sales service technician, and I did uh, there were some uh, you know where the cars are tested uh, w- with their with their engine power and everything which i I, I, can, I have just repaired this row and this gear I'm an electronic guy, you know uh, just my education was electronics, and I was in the after sales service at that time, so I just came and did it. So you, you could just uh, put it like you were dealing with motor heads and then it sounds more metal. <laughs> 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 okay, so now you're coming back to Israel and that's the first time you're coming here to perform. And yes. uh, um, how did you get in touch with these guys from, uh, from, from Desert? And how did you even record uh, this song that you recorded with them? Having them being in yeah. here and you being in uh, another country? The thing is, I offer bands to um, sing songs for them here and there. And first of all, I have this quality gate where I, I just uh, let them send in the track and uh, check out if the quality is okay, is okay for me. And, and, and it was absolutely okay. <laughs> it was more than okay. So um, they, played, they sent me a playback track and asked me if I can sing for them. And that's just what, what I did. And it's exactly one, what we're going to reproduce live now at the end of March, uh, 26, 26th of March. I'm going to be joining in the show, and we're going to do this song I contributed in. It's called uh, 1812 Borolino, and I will also do two or three Primal Fear songs there at the night and have a good oh, time. Oh, that's amazing. Most, most important thing, having a good time, you know. <laughs> amazing. So we're so. going to get some, uh, some uh, Primal Fear in, in Israel. We, we didn't yes, know that. Yes, but I have to, I have to add one thing. Uh, one thing I really would love to come with Prime Fear there, but there was uh, in the past there was just things going on nego- negotiations here and there with uh, with our booking company and uh, promoters over there and it never really worked out I, I think that and I, th- but this will be the next step so so don't worry that uh, I won't come with Prime Fear there I'm, I'm really pretty sure we'll be there soon to do a, an, an own show. which is um, highly recommended. Oh, my God. <laughs> that, that's... Of course, it would be great if people show up at that gig at the 26th of March, but basically I'm really in for coming with Primal Fear. We will be thrilled to see Primal Fear uh, perform here in Israel. And because, uh, you know, the, pro- the problem with these things is that Israel has a, a strong and stable uh, metal scene, but it's a very small one. So it's kind of hard yeah. to bring people from overseas, even though it happens all the time. But uh, a lot of bands, they have their price, let's say. And uh, the European market is different than, the, than what's going on yeah. here. So it's kind of hard to... just absolutely I totally you know I, I see both sides I always see the business business side as well I mean, I mean you have at least you have to cover your costs I mean we bring technicians we bring we have uh, pay the flights and everything 
and if you in the end go a little bit more than break even <laughs> just to just to fill our fridges we're okay with it because we know that the business and all the scene is uh, somehow hard for every side of it so for the promoters and for the bands so if it comes to go there to have a good time and just uh, go for break even and, and in the end everybody has a, a little bit of profit out of it it's okay which doesn't mean the profit has to be money wise the profit the profit is also pleasure wise um, basically the fans and i mean if we are standing on stage we're having a good time all the time so it's it's uh, it's always good if everybody has has a profit in in what he's doing even if it's just having fun so bef- without further ado we want to go to the first primal fear song that we're gonna listen today and uh, I don't know how it happened but it appears that we never played the silver and gold in the show which is kind of weird because that's one of our favorite songs like silver we- and gold I, yeah it's a I'd rather him first- sing it huh? <laughs> yeah it but it's first- weird to ask him to sing it right now yeah <laughs> no, no, first it was on the first album and it's a long time ago also. So why not? We just, we just came off stage Saturday doing the uh, charity gig here in our home time, hometown where our original drummer Klaus Sperling just joined in and, and did it. We had a great time. So we, we also dig, dug out some old songs. <laughs> All right. So let's uh, give it a listen. All it's right. Silver. silver and gold from Primal Fear. Yeah. Ticking like a time bomb. I knew the time was right. Dead place of destruction and no paradise on sight. gold by a primal fear we have the main man Rolf shippers here with us on the line and uh, so so you you have done many things except for only a uh, primal fear also in the past uh, uh, you were the singer of gamma Ray which is also a very known band 
and yep. uh, and what happened there? Why did you decide to leave that and start Primal Fear? It's not only my only uh, uh, decision. I mean, there were things at that time weren't so easy anymore in the band. I mean, in every band you have your fights, you have your ups and downs, and you have your uh, struggles and conversations and, and fights and, and bitching around and stuff. But that was a hard phase because I also did my application for this British band, and um, we just uh, talked about it, and they asked me, what would you do if they would accept you? And I said, I might go because it's another chance. And it didn't turn out at the end, and I, so there Wait was second, no you gathering. had an audition for a band, and they didn't take you? How, how could that happen? Are we talking about a known band? I didn't band? do the audition. That's the next step. So everybody says, hey, how was the audition for Judas Priest? And I said, oh. uh, I never auditioned. So and it's, uh, I never been invited to England. It was close. But then they oh, got that's the a shame. That's him. a shame. Everything, mm -hmm. everything has turned out really well for everybody, you know, in the end. Uh, I mean, it was a hard phase. I uh, somehow was not in Gamma Ray anymore, but that was not the only reason. The thing of, uh, with the application for Priest it was not the only reason. There were se several reasons around, but it's so long ago. Just Everybody's a second, fine. but we, in, in we what year? In what year was it when you were... It was 1992, 93, actually. It was 94 when I got out of Gamma Ray, and... Uh, It was just a hard phase, and, and everybody's fine now. We have a good time still when we meet. We're, we're friends, we're buddies. So uh, let's forget about the old shit. <laughs> well, I'll just say that, that Rob Helford is a god for us. The I mean, legacy, the what he's done for this, this yeah. music is, is just it's, it's, it's timeless and endless and, and amazing. I'd like to add something. There's a certain technique which just sounds similar. It's just the belted high voice. And, uh, of course, I can't deny that I come from out of, out of the 80s listening to Priest, Scorpions, and, and, and uh, Saxon, and accepting those bands. Uh, was, those were the bands we were listening to as kids. And I um, was absolutely stunned about Rob's vocals. There's, there's no doubt about that. But over the years, you know, you just do whatever you feel you'd like to do, and you don't think, oh, I'd like to sound like this or that, or, or like that guy. Just do what I do. And... Uh, I met Rob many years back and, and uh, we became somehow friends. We got connected and uh, so it's also a nice human being, you know, and that's, it, it's more than appreciation than uh, just if you know a person for real in person and he's a really mm -hmm. nice guy to, uh, first of all, in the first place, being a good human being and, and that's very important for me as well. And uh, it's kind of a weird question, but, but did you get to a chance to meet also Tim Reaper, which, which in the end filled? Because he's also the same type of we're, vocals. Yeah, we're around. I mean, we, we, do, we did some festivals together. We met in Poland once when he did the same show like we did. And, of course, we, were, we chatted, and, and he also sung a song on my solo album. So, of course, I met him. And uh, Uh, coming back to this uh, working on the internet, I think it was for your question before the song we already uh, played, mm -hmm. how that came together also with that. Uh, nowadays you really work on, on the internet, you just swap files and, and just send uh, back and forth. And the same thing happened with uh, Tim, with my song, so he sang in America and sent us the file, and so we sang a duet together, although we didn't stand in the same studio. But uh, uh, coming back, yes, I met Tim, and uh, we also had chats and conversations and good talks, so nice buddy, nice guy. You know, I think basically the metal family is pretty well, and, and, and uh, basically everybody's really, uh, really nice. All right, so uh, we're talking about the past. Uh, we would like to listen to one of uh, our favorite songs of Gamma Ray ever, and that's Dream Healer, uh, where uh, you sing. So uh, anything to say about that specific song? We had a good time uh, recording the demo, I remember that. So we were in our prime times, <laughs> and we uh, still am in the prime time, no problem. But we were we partying here and there, and, and that was one night where we had a big party going on, and we were just uh, not that sober anymore recording that. <laughs> so I got good <laughs> memories of recording Dream Healer. All right, so let's listen to it. Gamma Ray, Dream Healer.
what you can see while you're awake, but in your dreams. Listen to dreams It is a hope that is speaking 
going nice. away. And uh, we are uh, with us on the line. We have uh, Ralph Shippers, uh, which used to be also the singer of Gum Ray, but today is uh, the main man and singer of Primal Fear. And, and, and also, also, we have, uh, it came to us that uh, you have a new project that's coming out actually in April of this year. Um, which is called Black Welder. But, yes. but you, you appear in this project, I meant. Yes. <laughs> okay. Basically, nowadays you have to survive as a musician, and you do jobs, and you sing for money. <laughs> mm-hmm. Makes and sense. And it was pretty much... But, you know, mm-hmm. I always... When I do something, it's not only for money. I put my energy and, of course, my feelings in it. And it was a little bit different with Black Welder, because Andrew, he came up to me... and, and uh, said, uh, if I can uh, write lyrics and melodies. And when it comes to that, it's more than do just a job, because you just, you know, if you switch on the microphone, you reproduce the songs and the lyrics you were writing. So you put for much more energy and much more honesty in, back to that. I'm speaking very honest right now. So uh, mm-hmm. in the end, uh, yeah, I mean, also proud of uh, what came out. The result is just amazing. And... Uh, Uh, it comes to a absolute coincidence that also our new drummer now in prime of fear Achilles priester is playing the drums on on black welder which was uh I, we never thought that would turn out that he will be our drummer <laughs> oh, when so, I was so doing you knew the project him, so you knew him from coincidence that, you knew him from that uh, a project or before that like what 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 how did that happen like so the project was way before Achilles came became our mm. drummer and before there was even a thought about uh That Achilles is going to be a drummer because there was no problems with Randy and so forth, so it all happened later, but now it's absolute coincidental that he's on the same project playing that like I didn't sing so it's it's somewhat some kind of a a, a super project it it's like people from many groups uh, together uh doing yeah. this uh thing so we have yeah. with, uh people from angra and uh and of course from primal fear together it's very interesting. We had only uh listened to one song. Uh, and uh, we, we we thought it it was very nice very good yeah it's it's really really good so like, uh, yeah. the song is called the night of the new moon mm-hmm. and uh, let, let's give it a listen okay
very, Black very Welder, good. the night of the new moon, uh, they're going to have uh, their album coming out of the 24th of uh, April of this year. Uh, and uh, this song uh, featured uh, Ralph Shippers, who is with us on the line. And Ralph is coming here to Israel to perform with Desert, uh, the Israeli band. The singer of Gravedigger is also going to be there. So it's going to be a, oh, a huge, yeah. Uh, yeah, huge thing. We had him in the, in the show in the past, Chris. We are waiting to... Uh, listen to primal fear ever since we were listening to the first albums like so many years ago okay so uh, before we let you go we'll just ask you what is your personal favorite primal fear song ever and then we're gonna play it But you, ha- you have to answer you, it's you, just like you have uh, 15 children and you got to pick your favorite you, yeah, child. the you first know, one my first one the first one is always favorite, you know? the first one yeah. <laughs> so, or the so, last one so <laughs> if it's if it's the first one I'm gonna pick chain breaker from the first album because it's the first song we ever wrote <laughs> okay ah, okay okay so chain okay. breaker be very honest uh, the latest album uh, from delivering the black there's really outstanding songs on it like King for a day for instance and And also, uh, when death comes knocking, it's just... It's just uh, when death comes it's knocking, it's a good song. Yeah. You know what? Yes. Yeah. Okay, we'll play When Death Comes Knocking. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> great, great. We, we, we well, really enjoy that. Thank you very much for coming on uh, the likewise. show. And uh, we're going to see you on the 26th of uh, March uh, here in Israel on stage, uh, performing some Primal Fear and some Desert song. And yep. uh, that's amazing. Thank you. Wait a minute. Awesome. Ralph, Looking how, forward. Ralph, how many children do you have? One boy. Ah, not 50. He's your okay. favorite. He's your favorite, I know. <laughs> he's my favorite. <laughs> Absolutely. Great, he's thank my, you. He's my hero, my personal hero. <laughs> All sure. right. Uh, so uh, thank you for being with us, and we're going to see you, okay? Thank you for everything, right? Bye. See thank you then. You. Bye-bye. All right.
www.metalmetal.co.il מי שלא שומע, חרש.